Yeah, you know, in my book, uh, Rwandan Women Rising, I talked to the foreign minister, and I said, Louise, uh, I've been hearing this question all over the place. Well, is it really permanent? She said, Swanee, there's no way that we can go back to where we were. And um, where they were is different from where we were, and, but where they are at 64% of the parliament, good Lord deliver us, you know. But it, they're right. I mean, they can't go back. The same is true in our culture. Yes. Any social movement, you've got dips. It never travels in a straight line. But I'll tell you, this is one of those jagged um, hills in, in the uh, movement. Now, what does it take to have a social movement? You've got to have a ripe time. You've got to have a cause. You've got to have leadership. You've got to have resources. You know, they're, they're all there right now. And it's not just angry women, it's women who have had it. And we saw that in 1992. You had, you had the Judiciary Committee of all women, all men. And women were watching this, all men, and Anita Hill goes in there, and she testifies that Clarence Thomas, when he was her boss, wanted to take her out multiple times and he was talking about all the pleasure he'd given women with oral sex and the size of his penis and other things that CNN wouldn't let me have in the article I wrote. You all, it, it he was then confirmed. You know, he, he alleged that, I mean, he, he said that, oh, no, he didn't do those things. But she, a, a law professor, she was deemed not credible next to him, and he was confirmed by an all-white panel. And I'll tell you, women wanted to run for office at that point. 